so we're in Kangalusuak. Um I'm sorry I didn't record anything when we came off the ice sheet. It's a day later now and um, we've been back here resting for a day. Um, when we came off the ice sheet we were just exhausted. Um, I think I finished the last video by saying that um, we weren't sure whether we were going to make it through and the following day was going to be very exciting. Well, uh, I think it held more than any of us ever expected, really. Um, <clears throat> we were determined to get off the ice sheet that day. We started skiing at 8.30. Um, immediately came to melt rivers that were higher and faster flowing than we had experienced the previous day. Uh, a lot of us fell in. Um, there was a lot of wading. We were very wet from almost right from the start and then we came across a big crevasse field that took us a long time to navigate and then we were finally on the uh, on the final glacier uh, down to hill 660 which was our end point um, in all it took us 26 hours um, to get off the to get off the glacier so it took us took us 26 hours to go um, to go 29 kilometers. Um, and uh, and we did it all in all in one stretch. We stopped at 9:30 in the evening for for dinner, and then carried on going through the uh, through the polar night, which was quite incredible. The glacier itself was uh, completely free of snow, which is very strange this time of year. Uh, big crevasses, big ice mounds. Um, we skied most of it, put our crampons on at the end, but we literally fell, dragged ourselves. Um, crampon climbed, hauled um, for for the 26 hours, and and then we stumbled off the glacier at the end. Because, like I said, there was the option of camping, um, but we decided to push on. Everyone was in pretty good shape, to be honest. I think the adrenaline keeps you going. Uh, but by the end, when, when we came off the glacier, we we were done. So I didn't. So I didn't record. We had, actually, when we got off the glacier, we were faced with the glacial moraine field that we then had to carry all our gear over to get to the bus which took another couple of hours um, and then finally um, back to Kangalusuak for uh, for a shower and some food and a sleep um, we were going to walk uh, from from the base of the glacier to Kangalusuak which is 45 kilometers but uh, a couple of the guys um, I mean their feet were uh, we're so um, bruised and blistered that uh, we just couldn't face it. So a team decision to uh, to get on the bus, which I think was the right thing, because we were all so hungry, dehydrated, sleep deprived by the time we finished. But God, it was amazing. The skies over the glacier. We watched the sun dip below the horizon at uh, about 12 midnight, and then come up again at three and the skies were just fantastic. It was clear, it wasn't too cold. Uh, it was all in all a tremendous experience. Um, so uh, so just a little bit how, about how I'm feeling. Um, I think you can see from my face that uh, a lot of wind burn. Um, lost all the skin on this side of my face and my nose, sunburn skin, uh, wind burn. And, um, but all in all, I'm feeling pretty good, no blisters, and just tired, really. But, um, so, our bus is leaving for the airport, so I'd better go. But in all, uh, what a journey. Uh, what a tremendous experience with a tremendous bunch of people. And, uh, and um, it's going to go down as uh, one of my greatest adventures. Um, okay, that's it.